day, YouTube. Mr. Darby here. Um, this is just an update on the Fred Henry tribute build that I'm doing. Uh, I did an intro, and uh, I said I was going to go half naked, which is true. But as you can see, I still have my clothes on. And I showed you that I was doing this kit, which I am. Um, I do think, though, that I may just upset a bunch of purists because I want to build this Pro Street, which is fine, but I want to put a mod top on it. You know, so what I mean by that is the uh, it's going to have a vinyl roof that's flowery. And they came out in 1969 and, and um, were on 1970 cars as well. And this kit's a 68. So, you know, they didn't produce 68s with mod tops. But they didn't make 68s as pro streets either. So, I'm um, sort of taking the liberty of if someone's going to pro street a car, heck, if they want a mod top it, they can too. It's whatever floated their boat. Um, I think it'll look cool. Um, I'll flip you around and, and you can see um, how things are going to look roughly so far. And here we are. Hopefully it's not washed out. Um, there's Fred, by the way. Here's the decals I'm using. Um, they're from Slick's Decals. It's going to take two sheets to do this. Uh, one won't be enough because the interior also gets this. You can see where I have sitting just on the roof the what I've cut. I've cut two pieces this size because that's actually what the it, it's going to be the side. Um, I, I try to do my um, tops in in three pieces. I put the sides on first, and then I put the middle. In fact, this tape here is just to show how big the middle one needs to be and that is basically why I need two sheets if I didn't you know need to have it so wide I probably could have got away with one sheet but yeah whatever so I want to bring you down here and show you the rims that I've, I've chosen um, I talked a little bit about this in a uh, 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 a chat room that was on on YouTube that Got Fuels was hosting. Um, I didn't show the kit, but I did show the the wheels. Yeah, I know I'm having a hard time with this camera. So uh, let me see if I can zoom in a little. So maybe it'll focus. Maybe it won't. So, YouTube, this is the third time I have done the closing on this video. I, I'm just not having luck today with with the uh, making videos. Um, I took a few pictures. I think three of them. So you, you can see the rims that I'm using because uh, I couldn't get the camera to focus. Um, the rims are aluminum. I found them on eBay. They're for slot cars. I don't remember who made them. Um, if I can remember and find the website, I will share that with you. Uh, you may have also noticed in the pictures that the um, side marker lights have been drilled out and I have put metal... Um, ringlets in there you know from f from for beading and the uh, idea is to take some uh, white glue and mix either a clear red or a clear orange and um, fill in those holes with the white glue and when it dries hopefully it'll look like a red lens or a orange lens we'll see how that works um, if you guys want to see a video of me doing the vinyl top, uh, just leave a comment below and I will put one up or try to. Uh, and well, you know, anyway, I hope you enjoy what I have done. 
I can't wait to get this kit finished. It's been a while since I've actually did a, a Pro Street car, so I'm sort of excited, especially with these rims. Um, if you're wondering what I'm using to do the, the Pro Street part, um, I think I said in the intro video, the previous video, that I'm using the 1970 Cornette. Um, it, in fact, you know, I don't know how many years ago they had a AMT did do a 1968 Plymouth Roadrunner Pro Street, and all the parts were exactly the same as what was in the 1970 uh, Cornette Pro Street. So they all, it, it just falls together. Uh, it's it's not a crazy thing. It just you know it, it's just kit bashing two kits together, but. Anyway, if, if you guys have any thoughts on the, the motor, I, I do want to go with a Hemi. Uh, I don't know if I want to, what type of intake, if I want to do the, the tunnel ram, two carburetor s setup that's on it, or if I want to go with a big old blower or something and get kind of crazy with it. Um, I'm not for sure. Uh, I have to see what Hemis I have laying around that might look good you know poking up out of that hood so again you know if you have any ideas or thoughts or opinions on it just leave the comment down below and and i will address that in the next video which i hope won't be too long from now so my friends with that you know enjoy what you're doing have fun building get on the bench and remember it's only a hobby have fun enjoy it and good day.